Hi, I'm Chaplain Jackie Holland, and I'm with you today, and we're going to talk about deception. We're going to talk about temptation. You know, I can remember one time going to a church service, and the pastor got up and said, Today, I'm going to preach on temptation. I'm like, Okay, whatever. Anyway, he said, Temptation is not a sin. I'm like, Oh my, of course it's a sin. But you know, it isn't, because... Even Jesus was tempted in every manner like us, but He had no sin. See, we're tempted. We're all tempted. We're all tried in various ways of, all through life. I don't think it stops when you hit 65 or 62 and say, okay, now it's all over. You've made it. No, there's, it doesn't stop. The, the tempter, the devil himself, is always there throwing out little, little, uh, Test and we seem to pass or fail depending on uh, based on the word of God and also our own perception of what we think is right and wrong and how we feel guilty or not guilty. But for me, I can remember even at an early age, I had just gone through a horrible time in my life and I was only 19 years old. I was divorced. I had two children already and I know that's so young. And um, But I can remember being at a very low point in my life, and I heard the devil say, now remember I was a Christian because I had become a Christian at 12, so I, I heard the devil say to me, if you will say you love me, you can have anything you want. You can be rich, you can have someone who loves you. He even said to me I would be a movie star. Well, what makes anybody think that that couldn't have happened? And how do we know how some people who have made it into successful fields, maybe they did do what we've heard them say. They sold their soul. You know, I I had a fear of God. And even at that young age, I, re, I remember reacting strongly and saying, No, I will not say I love you. I love God. Thank God I had enough sense to do that. I heard a story, and I am a chaplain, have a chaplain's outreach, but I heard a, 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 a chaplain who had been in chaplaincy for years and years, and a friend of his was on his deathbed. Oh, he was a war hero. He was a successful businessman after the war. He, he had done exploits. He was rich, but he was dying, and he had visited him. And when he lay there with his friend, and he knew that his friend did not know the Lord. He knew that his friend would actually go to hell if he died, if something didn't change right then. And so he had fear and trembling inside him as he was reaching out to his friend. And he shared with him that the Lord loved him and that it was not too late and God would forgive him for his sins. And he'd, in just minutes he would be with Jesus. And the man looked at him on his dying bed and he said, it's too late. I sold my soul to the devil. See, he was tempted. He fell into that temptation. He felt, he, he felt in his own heart. He sold his soul. He thought there's no turning back. But you know, that's a lie from hell itself. Temptations come in many ways. Maybe to fall into sin, maybe to get involved in, in theft or, or, or in slavery and, and with some addictions or, or whatever. But I'm telling you this, there is no temptation taking you, the Bible says, but such that is common and God will make a way of escape if you receive it and accept it today, no matter where you've been or what you've done. No matter what that temptation and no matter what you gave into that temptation. You can get forgiveness from God. Just say, Lord, forgive me. I have sinned against you and I've, I've sinned against others and my own self. I forgive myself today because I receive your forgiveness. Temptation was not the sin. Giving in was. But it's not too late. Now this is Chaplain Jackie Holland. I love you and I'll be with you later.